Hello and welcome to another snapshot video tutorial on the Brownite Touch. My name is Andrew Flatchus. I'm the product manager for Humanware's Blindness Products. And another new feature I want to discuss to you today is about embossing your grass. We discussed in our previous snapshot videos on how to create and proofread our grass, but now I want to produce a hard copy of the tactile graph. And thanks to our partners enabling technology, this is now possible. Before we emboss though, I want to highlight that although the application has been installed as part of a Keysoft upgrade, it is still to be treated as a third party application. So all support related queries should be directed to enabling technology. Let's first talk about the application then. So the application in question is Firebird Mobile. So it's the application that uh, enabling technology has kindly created for us. And not only is the app uh, allowing you to emboss graphs, but it can also be used to emboss other images. But today I'll go through how we can emboss a graph created in KeyMath step by step. I also want to point out that embossing graphs through this application is done all through USB connection. Just to stop any confusion, documents you wish to emboss in keyword, they can still be used to emboss through Wi-Fi. Um, however, embossing graphics, you need to connect the embosser through USB. And lastly, the Firebird application supports the following embossers, Romeo 60, the Juliet 120, and the Phoenix Gold. Okay, let's start with quickly creating our graph in KeyMath. So from the main menu, I'm gonna to jump to all applications. So A for all apps. All applications. Enter. Main menu, all apps. Adobe Acrobat. Okay, and I need to jump to KeyMath, so I'm gonna press the letter K multiple times. Key. KeyBR, KeyCalc, KeyFile, KeyList, KeyMail, KeyMath. Okay, and press Enter. KeyMath, create. Okay, I want to create, so I'm going to hit enter. Web graphing calculator mode. Loading. Please wait three full stop. Blank. You'll then get an audio prompt of what calculator mode that you're in and what mass code that you'll be using. So in my case, I'm using the UB mass code, but again, you can use the NIMF code. And I'm in the graphing calculator mode, which is the mode that I want to be in. This is something that we have recently changed in KeyMaps. We have introduced two modes, calculate graphing calculator mode and the math type setting mode. So it's important to be in the right mode. So creating graphs will be in the graphing calculator mode. And to toggle between the two, you press enter with G. But more information on that is available on my previous snapshot video of creating graphs. So I'm gonna quickly do a formula now to create on my graph. Okay, sign 10. W deleted. Generating graph. Graph plotted from minus 10, minus 10 to 10, 10. Generating graph. Graph plotted from minus 10, minus 10 to 10, 10. Okay, so I've created um, two lines and it's generated that on my graph. At this point, it'd probably be a good time to proofread my graph. So I could, could, I could press the space with T. Again, a video on the proofreading my graph is available on my previous snapshot. But I'm happy that my boundaries are set correctly and that the direction of the lines of the graph seem to be correct to the best of my knowledge. And I'm ready to emboss. So there's a new command that we have generated, which is pressing enter with I. And again, this command is available on that contextual button. So enter with I. Image ready. Android system. Ticked. Firebird mobile. So Keysoft now will give me a list of applications that I might want to use. The application we want to use is uh, the Firebird mobile app. So that's selected. And again, I can jump to either the always button or the just once button. If you select always, you will not get this prompt again. But for me, I'm just going to choose J for just once. Just once button. Press enter. Alert. Fire alert. Firebird mobile. Okay, now this will open up the Firebird mobile application. If this is the first time that you've opened up the Firebird mobile application, you will be asked to install an additional application called OpenCV Manager. So go ahead and install that app to proceed and you'll then be um, on the page that I'm on at the moment, the Firebird mobile. Now remember, plug in your USB cable as uh, embossing through um, this application requires USB connection. And there are a few options that I can choose, uh, but the main options here is selecting what embosser that you have, um, possibly the page size, and the embosser that you're using. 
Okay, so I'm going to use my navigation keys, my thumb keys, to jump to my model of embossing. Find the more of Pigim standard embossed Phoenix Gold. Select emboss a drop down list. Okay, it's a drop down list. I'm going to select that while hitting enter. Showing three items Phoenix Gold. And I'm going to choose my Romeo 60. That's the emboss that I have. Romeo 60. And select. Firebird Mobile. Firebird Mobile. Okay, so again, I'm happy with the page size. I just now need to navigate Firebird to the Mobile. Boss button. So I can press E to emboss. Emboss button. Okay, let's jump me straight to the emboss button. And I can press enter. Okay, and so now the Firebird Mobile app will then take a few moments to uh, send that to my embosser. Fantastic. Okay, and there we go. I just heard the magical sound of the embosser. And uh, that's an embossed tactile graph created from KeyMath. So thanks for listening and enjoy using another fantastic feature.